Hey everybody, it's me, Sandy from Hook Hook Crochet. How are you doing? We made it to day 10, Vlogmas day 10. I thought I would try a new background, but I think the lighting can be improved. So I apologize for the bad lighting. Maybe I need one of those fancy umbrellas. Well, today was my mom's birthday. And she lives down in Texas. So I called her. I FaceTimed her. And she has three sisters. So I added them on the call. And so they all sang happy birthday. I also added my cousin, Susanna, my favorite cousin. Hi. And we all got on. We sang happy birthday. And, you know, it's the best we can do during these times. So that's what we did today. And also, I got to finish up a little project. I, if you've been watching this show for a while, my show, <laughs> you'll know that I make those granny squares, those Jada and Stitches granny squares. She makes one for every month. She did that calendar blanket in 2017. And I like to make those squares. I know this is January square which I've made before, but this one I made special for my cousin, Sonia. She's a teacher, and she's online teaching from her home, and she's got three kids of her own who are, I mean, two of them are online learning, and then she's got a baby. Oh, my gosh. So she puts these squares. I make one for her for every, you know, I try to make one. So she could have one for every month. You know, it's hard to to bring it to her. You got, you know, I can't even go in her house. I have to put it outside her door and then she gets it later. But she's not right around the corner from me either. So there's that dilemma. So Sonia, if you're watching, I've got it ready for you. It's just we have to figure out how we can get it to you. And I don't think I'm going to go to the post office again because if you watched a few episodes ago, that post office guy, I was at the post office and he wasn't even wearing a mask. He was just wearing this uh, shield that wasn't even a shield. It was just, I don't know. And, and then the next day I saw in the news, no shield. You should not be wearing a shield without a mask. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> with people they think they can make up their own rules I mean they're not rules they're guidelines but still so so anyway back to my background you're in the yarniverse we did a little bit bit of rearranging my husband says that plain background that I usually come to you with it for my videos is so boring I was like it's boring I'm bored, and so I'm like, okay, let's go back here, and here we are, but the lighting is horrible, so it's either no background or bad lighting, so, you know, compromise until, like I said, I can get some kind of uh, umbrella or something, those umbrellas, but I'm not a good lighting expert, but I do know natural light is best but even I don't get a lot of natural light in this part of my home because I live in a condo so half my house has windows and the other half no windows but anyway I still like I enjoy living in a condo because I feel I feel kind of safe I feel like uh if anything happen which it happen I could just run down the hall knock on my neighbors and like emergency help me and so you're not really alone but but you are it's private but if you need any kind of help you can always you know without going outside knock on somebody's door even though that's there's not really a sense of community in this building a lot of people come they live here for a few years and then they move out um so it's not you don't make friends and i know 
when I first moved into this building, the girl who lived next door to me, she was so nice and we got along really good. But then she was saying, we just put an offer on a house and she was, you know, she was leaving and I was, I just moved in. So that didn't stick. But then I did have a nice conversation in the mail room with a lady on the first floor. We wore our mask and everything and we were just talking. I think we got a little loud, but it was nice to talk to a person in person and it not being about work, medical appointments, grocery. It, we were just talking about everyday things. I haven't done that in a long time. Somebody in person, face to face. So that's that's kind of... Oh, 2020, what did you do to us? What did you do to us, 2020? You're making us all on edge. I'm looking at the background through my laptop. I really like it. I really liked it. This this, this, this one is my fall basket. Um, This is a giant one. And this one is a Karen cake basket. This is the anniversary cake. This is a Christmas theme basket. Can you tell her that I like baskets, that I also like yarn? And I haven't bought yarn in a couple of months. I haven't bought any yarn. And for a while there, I was going to Hobby Lobby, Joann's, or Michael's every other day. This was before the virus. So, I mean, I went a couple times this year. And even when I did do those trips, I I had a hard time finding something that I wanted to take home because I have just about every yarn there is to have. <laughs> uh, I have more that you can't see down there and then over there in the room and then over there and over there. And I try to keep it and over there. I try to keep it as organized as I can, but sometimes it gets a little, you know, when I'm looking for something in particular, I get, you know, throw everything and I'm like, I'll get to that later. So yesterday I really did a major, yesterday and the day before yesterday, I did a major overhaul of my home. So I feel nice and neat right now. Not that I ever have too much chaos in my house as far as my stuff being organized. I don't like to, I don't like things like that. I like, you know, Labels out. Can you tell? Even in the fridge, the labels out in the cabinet. Labels out. But I don't want to go too crazy. Remember that movie with uh, Jennifer Lopez? I think it was called Enough. Where she was with that man who, you know, oh no, it wasn't Jennifer Lopez. It was um, with Julia Roberts. What was the name of that movie? And she wanted to get away. Oh God, I can't think of that movie. I can't, they play that song, Brown Eyed Girl. She had a little thing with the guy next door after she ran away. But, like, she would get in trouble if her labels were, were misplaced, were not showing. What was the name of that movie? If you know that name of the movie with Julia Roberts, where she was with a man that was very controlling as far as everything had to be neat and tidy. Otherwise, she would get it, you know, and then she ran away from him and, she stuck to new life. I think she changed her hair and changed her name. I can't. Can you let me know in the comments? Because that's going to bug me now. Oh, my gosh. I'll have to Google it. I'm going to go and Google that and then get the rest of my day done and have a nice little sit down in front of the TV with some yarn and a hook. So until tomorrow, take care and stay safe, everyone. Bye.